Your World Up Close Does the picture on the left show a diamond or a glass prism? Look closer. Take a step back. You are too close. It is a picture of a sugar crystal. This extreme close-up was taken by an electron microscope, a tool that can magnify an item to thousands of times its actual size. Pictures taken with a high-tech electron microscope are called photomicrographs. The sugar crystal on the left may look huge, but the word micro means small. We are seeing a small part of the sugar crystal up close. Photomicrography dates back to 1840, when a scientist named Alfred Donnet first photographed images through a microscope. Around 1852, a German pharmacist made the first version of a camera that took photomicrographs. In 1882, Wilson Snowflake Bentley of Vermont became the first person to use a camera with a built-in microscope to take pictures of snowflakes. His photographs showed that there is no such thing as a typical snowflake. Each is unique. Nowadays, we have electron micrographs. Caption. These electron micrographs show that snowflakes are shaped like hexagons. The light microscopes you use in school are weak and do not show the light microscopes you use in school are weak and do not show much detail. An electron microscope is a much more powerful tool. It allows scientists to see things we can't see with our eyes, such as skin cells or dust mites. The picture below is a close-up of human skin and shows the detail an electron microscope can capture. The more an image is magnified, the more detail you will see. The most magnification that a photomicrograph can capture is about two million times the original image size. Magnified images have helped scientists to see what causes diseases. Over the years, scientists have learned how these diseases behave. We have even learned what is inside a cell or how a snowflake dissolves into a drop of water. Caption. This is a human fingerprint magnified by an electron microscope. Picture labels times one million, times two million. Scientists use, elect Scientists use electron micrographs to see how objects change over time. For example, we can look at a piece of fruit to see how it decays. First, the fruit looks fresh. After a few days, it will soften. Specks of mold will appear and cling to it. Days pass and it will be covered in mold. A microscope shows this far earlier than our eyes. Suppose you mingle with friends outside on a humid day. What would the sweat on your skin look like magnified? The possibilities are endless if you examine your world up close. Caption. When the mold on a strawberry is looked at under an electron microscope, it resembles grapes. 